Hey internets, it's Jake, and today I'm going to show you a brand new way to make miniature treasure hordes right here on Mini Terrain Domain. Here are the tools and supplies you'll need for this build. I like to use one millimeter round gold, silver, and copper glitter. You're also gonna to wanna to find some multicolored seed beads, also about one millimeter, and a variety of metal, plastic, gold, and multicolored beads and spacers to use as additional decoration. You're gonna want a good piece of thin cardboard, additional decorations like treasure chests, a Sharpie, some paint brushes, an X-Acto blade, a good pair of scissors, some black acrylic craft paint for a wash, glossy Mod Podge that will be used as a sealer, and some white PVA glue. Here I've used Eileen's Tacky Glue, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, and a plastic container to mix everything in that is disposable because glitter will get everywhere. All right, let's get started. Take your disposable plastic container and add the complete contents of your gold glitter jar. For silver, I like to add about half of the jar. And for the copper, about one quarter to one third of the jar. Though you can mix this up however you see fit. Once we have that blended in, we're gonna add in our multicolored seed beads and mix everything together thoroughly. I had already pre-mixed some into a old peanut butter jar. Put the lid on, shake it up really well, and you are gonna perfectly blend that mix for use as a treasure flock. Using your Sharpie, draw several shapes onto your cardboard for as many treasure hoards as you want, and then simply cut them out. These will be the bases. Here I'm taking all of my accessories, the various gold, silver, multicolored, bead spacers and everything else and pre-selecting them so that I can add them once the hot glue gun is ready. Just take your glue gun and start first gluing your pieces down where you want them to be and then spreading hot glue over the rest of the cardboard. Or you can simply fill the entire piece of the cardboard with the hot glue and just press your pieces in. You're gonna to wanna to work a little quickly. Again, this is why we pre-select. The reason we're doing this is by filling up a certain depth of about uh, probably two or three millimeters of hot glue onto the cardboard is it's going to give the final appearance of a lot more treasure than is actually there. That way we're not having to use an excessive amount of the glitter in the final product or too much PVA glue. The hot glue fills that space up nicely, adds a thickness and dimension to it. And in case you're wondering why I'm using Lego weapons and swords, while they don't fit the scale, they fit the aesthetic wonderfully and they definitely show the players at the table, hey, there's might be some magic items in this treasure hoard that we found. And they paint up wonderfully with just simple acrylic craft paints. Some of these treasure piles don't even have weapons or accessories on them, just a few of the bead spacers, and that's fine. For this step, the application of the treasure itself, I'm using the Eileen's Tacky Glue, spreading some on there, and then taking a uh, wet paintbrush to spread the glue out into all of the nooks and crannies so that we have full coverage, including along the edges of the cardboard. And this is important to give it a good table look so that it's filling those edges and you don't see any corrugation. Once you have your glue applied, it's as simple as placing it inside this dish and sifting it through, much as the way you might apply grass or sand flocking. And you'll get nice full coverage this way, shake off the excess and let everything dry for 24 hours. Once it's dried, I take a stiff bristle brush across all the pieces and I'm just brushing away the excess glitter that did not adhere 
to the glue. Using our black acrylic craft paint and a generous amount of water, I'm creating a very simple wash and quickly covering the entirety of the treasure hoard and blotting it away with paper towel using capillary action to get a lot of that excess off of there. This is gonna settle down into the cracks, take away some of that glitter luster and still leave a wonderful treasure shine in your final piece to wow your players at the table. I put the paper towel down, of course, to absorb the excess. Now here, I'm initially trying this Mod Podge that you would apply with a brush. Again, placing the paper towel down and just dabbing it into all the nooks and crannies. However, I found that this actually gave it a muddy look and I just, I wasn't happy with the final, the final product on this. So after this, I switched to a spray-on Mod Podge. I, I place all my pieces onto this extra piece of cardboard, and I'm gonna take it outside to a well-ventilated area, uh, and so I don't get glue everywhere, and just cover the whole thing in this Mod Podge spray. I like to allow a couple hours drying time for the Mod Podge to completely set. Once thoroughly dry, these treasure hoards are now table ready. I really like the way this combination of gold, silver, and copper glitter along with the gemstone seed beads, the bead spacers, and the other accessories all work together to create an aesthetically pleasing treasure hoard that's really gonna lure the players in. And these things really catch the light too. Your players are going to love to see these revealed at your game table. Using the techniques and methods I have shown you in this video, you are now fully equipped to make your own treasure hoards for use at your game table. If you would like to share pictures of what you've crafted for your own home games, join us over on the Mini Terrain Domain Discord server. We would love to see you there. If you would like to become a part of Mini Terrain Domain, you can become a supporter over on Patreon. Patreon support helps me to keep the high production values of these videos and continue to bring you excellent content. If you like watching live stream Dungeons and Dragons games, you can join us over on twitch.tv slash mini terrain domain several nights a week for our Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. We would love to have you join us in the chat. Thank you for watching and remember, imagine, build, play.